You need to feel pain to fully understand joy. You need to feel loss in order to fully understand growth and gain and happiness and fulfillment. Six years into my military career, after I had gone through the Naval Academy, I had gone through SEAL training, and now I was out in the SEALs doing operations, we had lost some friends, and I boxed that up, put it down in the basement to be dealt with later. The thing is, I never dealt with it. The thread that truly opened me up was one of the counselors finally recommended mindfulness and meditation to me. I found that all good leaders and all good teams have four things in common. Preparedness, resilience, grit, and compassion. When you're hurting, to overcome that pain, it takes effort and discipline. And that will help to develop that grit. That will help to get you comfortable being uncomfortable. And when I started practicing mindfulness and meditation, that kind of allowed me to go down into the basement, bring this box up, and deal with what was inside. I think I'll be using some of his tips on meditation and how that can be a way I'm gonna start my day. So I highly recommend John. It really helped me reaffirm myself in a lot of the things that he was talking about. And you know, he talked about grit and resilience. It really helped me feel like I had somebody truthfully that understood where I was coming from. You know, the many advantages he talked about as far as having the cutting edge and being focused and, you know, just being there uh, more for your team and your family and your children was phenomenal, so I highly recommend him. But that's all there is to it. It's focusing on the here and now, no judgment, paying attention to what you're experiencing physically and emotionally. And by doing that, you take the driver's seat. You control what it is you're experiencing. You turn those reactions into responses. Coming back better, coming back stronger, coming back smarter, coming back more courageous. If you come to me and you say, we have a problem, we have a culture problem. We have people who are hurting in, in our organization. We want to change that. That's what I want to know. And if you can improve the way somebody feels, your bottom line is going to increase. You are in control of your stress reaction. You are in control of your body and you can master how your body responds to stress rather than how it reacts. All this, the compassion, resilience, preparedness, grit, they can all be developed through mindfulness and meditation. That right there is the key for me. If someone can feel more fulfilled in their life, personally, professionally, spiritually, emotionally, that's what makes a difference for me. That's why I do this.